Hot tub baby, let's go. Oh, actually, not gonna lie, I kinda like this strat. It's just the idea of this strat. Part of me wants to keep Spike Factory too for the memes. Let's do it. New Spike Factory strat, boys. Because right now, the reason I was th thinking, right? I'm like, we don't have the greatest ZOMG pop and power. We can do great against BFBs with this. And like, you know, mid-game with this. But we don't have the best, like, ZOMG pop and power ever. So we could, we could, uh, get, get Spike Factory and change that. Hey, if this works, it's the new best strategy. Spike Storm could pop a $10,000 re rain brush. Yeah, but it also costs like $12,000 to do. $12,000 I'm never going to have because I'm going eco and not farms. Like, I don't know if Spike Storm should be cheaper so you can get it easier, or if it should be just more effective so it does by a late game. Because the Spike Storm is easily the best part about the Spike Factory, and it isn't even that great. Like, it's okay. It's not terrible, terrible. But it could be a lot better. Remember the first time on Hot Tub, I thought the boats could go in lava? Lava? OMG, same. Actually, though, it would kind of make sense, because, it, it, you know, it, it's like a liquidy surface. But then you have to realize that the boats are made out of wood, and wood kind of burns up in lava. It turns to, like, fucking charcoal or, or something. Like, thematically, it just wouldn't make sense. So lava's just that dead zone where nothing can go. If you could put boat and submarine in the lava, though, it would be pretty strong. Not gonna lie. Like, a submarine here and here would be pretty good. At least against the AI balloons. Maybe not so much against the player sent balloons. Nah, seriously, buff the 4-2 spike? They need to buff all parts of the spike. Honestly, just give, just make each spike pile, like, 1.5 times as strong as it currently is. And maybe you could probably use it in some strategy. Like, it actually might be legitimately good, then. Because Spike Storm would get a massive buff, too. Massachusetts Magma. Lava is only when it reaches the crust of the earth. Oh. So this is magma. Gotcha. Hmm. Well, today I learned. Oh, no. He's got Engineer. If he's got Engineer, then I'm actually just going to max Eco now. Because he's going to get a Bloom Trap and punish any of my future Eco. And I don't want him to punish my future Eco. So we're going to Eco now. Oh shit, we're actually making a boost to our eco too? Oh, that's litty titty. Look at this sick eco though. Alright, we're gonna get a mortar, then we're gonna save up for like a 1 3 sniper. He's actually not sending lead, so maybe I'll just skip that and go straight to the sniper. Yeah, get that sniper. Get a little uh, camo pot and power here. Yep, there's the balloon trap. Is Steve Micro gonna go in for a rush? I am weak right now. I'm no longer weak. I am perfectly fine now. White balloons could be scary. Nah, my 1-3 sniper's got it. Sniper's a bro. He knows what's up. Alright, let's get a motherfucking spike factory at the back, because we're leaking too much. I don't want to leak. Let's just uh, get that defense up in here. Uh, part of me really wants to try to do camel yellows to get lives on him, but that never works. Especially if this dude has excellent balloon trap micro. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? Because he has this bio boomer right here, I'm gonna just send him green. Ah, oh, fucking, never mind. Just kidding, he has heli pilots. I was gonna do it, so. It, it's it's set up so his boomerang would pop all the eco balloons I send, and he would not be able to collect them in the balloon trap. But just as I say that, just as I think about doing that, he gets a motherfucking heli pot instead. And heli pot beats camos as well, so I can't even sneak camos by. He can just defend that easily. Damn it. On the right side, we got nice eco. 953 on round 16. With a spike factory strategy? Oh, that's that's good. That's good. Oh, uh, this is around with a bunch of camel loons incoming. But spike factory will stop the camels from coming through. No camel can get past my OP spike factory. That's right, Steam Micro. You've been outsmarted. Get it. <laughs> uh we should probably get some uh mob defense though. Like mob and leads are pretty scary. Fuck, I'm gonna send a mob first, because I'm that aggressive. When did I send it? 26? So I boost it like th I'll boost it like 35 just to be safe. Cause I don't know exactly when I sent this mob. I'm gonna just follow up the pinks. Let's see if he sells this balloon trap ever. I don't think he will. There's the boost. Did he get some ceramics in a balloon trap? Oh, looks like he must have, cause he defeated that mob real easily. Not even breaking a sweat. Shit, I'm sad now. That's not good. Uh, what are we gonna do against like, like fast goal mobs? Cry? We actually might have to cry. Not gonna lie. It's pretty scary. 
Oh, oh, that mob's getting taken down easy. Easy. Spike Factory coming in clutch in the back, too. Look at that. Look at that defense. Why did we get Camel on our mortar? Uh, that's just not the terrible idea. Let's try sending a uh, Steam Micro BFB. See what he has to say about that. If this motherfucker somehow has boat, I'm probably screwed. What do I do if he sends uh, me fast call mobs? Well, I think I have a plan, boys. I think I have a plan. I don't know if it's gonna work. I really don't. Let's see what he does. He's countering. Oh, he's got a motherfucking Apache. Are you shitting me right now? He actually was able to afford a freaking Apache. Where does this kind of money come from? I'm going for black balloons right now because they're a bit dense. I'm hoping to overwhelm his Apache. He still isn't boosted. I feel like he should with balloons getting as far as they are. Come on, pig balloons. Ah, nice defense. Well done. Well done. Not even countering. He's just straight up defense with that Apache. So I can't BFB rush him anymore. I could ZMG rush him. God, that just opens me up for a world of pain, though. Like, it's gonna suck a lot if that happens. Uh, it's a big ceramic round. Um. Oh, okay. I, th I thought we were actually gonna be kind of dead that round. But it turns out uh, Sniper's even better than I thought. Honestly, this 2-3 Sniper's been super clutch all game. Like, it's the MVP of this strat. And the Spike Crack 3 bit. It saved me 88 lives. If it wasn't for that Spike Factory, I would have... <laughs> I wouldn't even be dead. I'd be at like 40-something lives. Maybe 46. I don't know if that's the right math. Someone double check. If I had to guess, it's 46. <laughs> so I wouldn't even be dead. Thanks for nothing, Spike Factory. Sad thing is, I also have to rush him late game because he does have the Heli Pilot. Which is a shame. I want Steam Micro to rush me. Note, if Steam Michael, if you are listening, even though you will be up on lives, it is very smart for you to rush me, because I will have less money to rush you. Because I want to be rushed with this strategy, I want to defend with the Spike Factory Sniper combo. Is that too much to ask for? It might be. We'll see. Alright, come on. Let's just get this, get this over here, retarding that mortar a little bit. Alright, there we go, easy defense. Alright, now we're just both maxing out in pink eco. We ain't gonna be stopped. I'm getting another 2-3 Sniper though. A lot of ceramics come this round. And it's just better to be safe than sorry. Double sniper should help out a lot. Steam Micro doesn't have to work because he has three fucking balloon traps in addition to Heli Pilot. Oh boy. Barely holding off. Maybe a second mortar could be nice. Just like a quick 3 1 mortar. Maybe here. So Steam Micro is actually in a bit of a dilemma. Does he collect from the balloon traps? Or does he send out Eco? You can't do both at the same time. It's too difficult. So he's got he's got to choose one or the other. One of his money uh, streams, <laughs> and that's where we get him. We just have to send Eco, so we can we can just constantly send Eco and not have to worry about a damn thing all the way through. Steam Micro has got to try to balance both. <laughs> oh, he's just gonna yeah he's he's gonna try to try to do both. He's he's prioritizing it seems the. Uh, it seems that he's prioritizing balloon traps, but it's hard to say. Alright, let's just get some more quick defense real quick. A third 2-3 sniper should be good. Then maybe one of these. Maybe get better stacks in the back. Stacks on stacks on stacks of the spac spa spike factories. I mean, we just want to be safe. Against the AI mobs. If we really wanted to be cheeky and get more money, we could get the fucking 4 tier sniper. <laughs> oh, that could be fun. Not gonna lie. That could be pretty hilarious. We're not going to, though. We are going to get a big one pretty soon, though, so we don't die to round 32 randomly. Round 32 has been on my, on my mind for a bit. Is the fourth tier boat in use? Well, the boat ability is. The guy on the left, the aircraft carry, is really bad without village support. The village actually makes it pretty good. No joke. But it's still pretty shoddy. And he is now up on lives of me. This game goes until round 40, though, so it is still anyone's game. I highly doubt that Steam Micro will be able to defend, like, round 37 ZMG Rush. We've seen how many of his towers? We've seen Boomer, we've seen Engineer, and we've seen Heli. And that's it. We don't know what his fourth tower is. It could be a slow. I don't think it would matter if it was. I'm gonna get 5,000 Eco and Shield, though, because we do eventually need to save up for the big rush on Steam Micro. Because, I mean, these ZMGs aren't going to send themselves. Someone's got to be pressing the button. We can also get a sick defense on our own side, though. 
It would be an epic game, Steam Micro, if you're listening to me. If, if when I send ZOMGs, you also send ZOMGs. Just saying, that would make for a damn good game. Alright, let's make sure we don't die to this uh, round's AI. Holy fuck. We almost died. Let's have this, like, target to here. Maybe got another fucking fourth tier mortar? Come on, place. Alright, good, we're good, we're good. We're good. We're good, baby. Jesus, we actually almost didn't beat that freaking round, though. Like, those ceramics almost got past my mortar. Like, how sketch is that? Alright, Spike Factory spam a little bit. Alright, I, I don't think we even need to buff our defense too much more. Like, we're gonna defend the AI just fine, I think. Because it's just BFBs and mobs to come. While it is a lot of them, yes. It's still just BFBs and mobs. Steam Micro, though. Steam Micro has to figure something out, because I don't think he can defend the ZMGs I'm going to send him. Even if he gets a massive helipod army all overclocked, I don't think he'll have the firepower. This is a shortish map, and I'll be able to send a lot of ZMGs. Just saying. I have one of these on first, by the way. Like, we got so much time to save up, too. We can get afford one new ZMG every freaking 12 seconds. Do you know how many ZOMGs that's gonna make it? That's gonna make a lot. Steam Micro's like, you know what, bitch? I'll just tank the ZOMGs. I got so many motherfucking lives, I don't even care. Um, hold on. Alright, we're chill, we're chill, we're chill, we're chill. <laughs> that was almost bad, but we're chill, we're chill. We're good. Alright, I do admit this is actually a lot of balloons. We're gonna keep spamming them to Spike Factories, because that's pretty much our main uh, balloon pot and power right now. Oh, God. Saving up for round 37. Steam Micro knows it's coming. He may even send back at me. Let's just not goof and die with all these incredible towers. Big limit, big one shot of a pop limit of a thousand blooms per shot. I believe it's a uh, hundred actually. So it's even weaker than you think it is. You think the big one should be buffed? Is that what you're saying? And uh, I would kind of disagree with that. I think the big one's fine where it is. Like a hundred is already a lot of blooms anyways. Right, so I'm still not gonna send to like round fucking. 30 bullshit. 37. Like, I don't think we need to. So the, these, uh, these snipers actually, um... They anti-synergize with the Spike Storm. S spike Storm benefits if, like, balloons are spread out all across the map. And the, uh... The sniper makes them stack. Oh, fuck, we're going in. We're going in, boys! We are going the fuck in. Might I actually, uh, get some boat abilities and micro that. Alright, let's get that. Fucking ZMG time. Ah, shit, we popped a bunch. Awesome. Let's just get this up real quick. Just gonna boat micro all the BFBs. Yeah, suck that uh, freaking thing in. This dude is currently defending everything. Holy shit. Um, how the hell? Okay, well, we're gonna sell this. Drop him another freaking monkey pirates. Another monkey pirates. Just kind of microing to stay alive. Otherwise, we'll be like... Selling this, sending a couple more ZOMGs. I don't think I need this guy either. We are basically all in on this ZOMG bullshit. Here we go. Still freaking sending. He's actually sending some stuff back at me. I don't know what he's sending. I'm a little scared about that. He's sending some ZOMGs back at me. I'm gonna get a freaking sniper just to stall that in place. No, I can't. You know, he's just, he's not really doing much there. These ZOMGs aren't gonna make it to the exit in time. But I'm really hoping Steam Micro can die before I do. I gotta stay alive here. I'm actually gonna sell this guy. I'm gonna start. What? What? I didn't sell the mortar? Fuck you. Alright, we've had we've had a lot of problems uh, selling and buying mortars all day. Or all uh, all week, I have to admit. Oh jeez, these uh, ZMGs are making it very far though. Um, holy crap, stay alive. I actually might want to get a freaking sniper on strong or something. Oh god, I don't know why we haven't boosted yet. Holy crap, um, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Please die before I do! He has balloons nearly at the end! Oh god! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! I blew at the end too! Holy shit! I cannot believe Steam Micro was defending as long as he was. That's insane. What a game. Fucking heli pilot. I can't believe his ZOMGs actually did get through in time. I was like, I was considering snipers stalling it, but I'm like, no, they're not gonna make it. Clearly, I was wrong.